So I want to tell you about a patient I saw. We'll call her Sophia. Sophia's story isn't especially unique, but it's very important. So Sophia came to me very frustrated. She'd been dealing with persistent joint pain for almost two years. It had started simply enough with just some hand stiffness that she thought was due to working on the computer, but it continued to get worse and it made her mornings miserable. She got to the point where she could barely hold her coffee mug in the morning. She'd seen her primary care doctor multiple times and the initial testing, which included RA blood tests like the rheumatoid factor and the anti-CCP antibody, well, they all came back negative. So her doctor then told her it was probably just her age and she was 45 years old, by the way, which is a little young to be having pain so bad that you can't hold your coffee or maybe it was just stress. But Sophia couldn't shake the fact that she was feeling like something was really wrong. She even tried supplements and diets that she found online, but really nothing was working. Finally, she walked into my office, self-referred, because she was exhausted and desperate for answers. After hearing her story and seeing her hot, swollen, red joints, I ordered additional blood tests, including the anti-MCV antibody. We had a long discussion that I suspected she was right. Something was going on and that sometimes these standard antibodies just don't come back positive. There are some well-studied but not quite well-established autoantibodies that are associated with rheumatoid arthritis and that checking these may give us more insight. And the anti-MCV antibody is one of them. It came back positive, which confirmed what I suspected. Sophia had rheumatoid arthritis. While her rheumatoid factor was negative, advanced testing gave us the clarity that we needed. And this wasn't just her age. If you're struggling to get a diagnosis because your rheumatoid factor is negative, don't give up. Talk with your doctor if advanced antibody testing makes sense in your case. I have a whole YouTube video on the Connected Rheumatology YouTube channel that you can watch to learn more about the different testing out there and how they may shed light on your case and how to think about using these tests. And have a great day.